Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series where we started off, started out at Earth in the XR2, took off, got into orbit, rendezvoused with the Aero Freighter, took the Aero Freighter all the way out to Jupiter, did a huge braking burn to get in orbit around Io, and we finally undocked the XR2 from the Aero Freighter in the last video, as you can see here, and now we are ready to take the XR2 down and land at a little base that I created on IO. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into the flight. So uh, once again, at the time of the recording, the uh, Aero Freighter is not available for general download. Um, if that changes, I will update the description of the video and give a link, but at, the t at this time there isn't one. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. So we are at this point here, and we need to go around to here to perform a deorbit burn. So let's start doing that, but our distance off base is not super tiny. So let's deal with that when we get to this point here. Now according to BaseSync MFD, when we get to this point we would use um, 3.2 seconds of burn time using the full power of the main engines in the anti-normal position indicated here by that negative sign but uh, that might perturb our orbit so let's not do that we're 950 seconds away from that point so let's go ahead and warp time forward get closer to that point and then we'll go into the anti-normal position but we'll start the burn early and we'll do a we'll do a uh, you know, we'll just take more time with it. So, about a hundred seconds out here. All right, we'll go into the anti-normal position. And let's say, so instead of, so it would cost, it would be a 3.4 second burn. Let's begin the burn at 20 seconds but we're just gonna put in like one or two touches of main engine so that our orbit doesn't get perturbed. So five, four, three, two, one, and burning just a little bit. So if we started the burn at 20 seconds, then we wanna go until negative 20 so that our burn is balanced out. And let's go two touches of main engine actually, cause that's not coming down too quickly. I'm not, I'm not trying to get all of it in one pass because we will have another opportunity over here and when we do our deorbit maneuver over here it's going to affect our off base distance i just don't know by how much so probably should have started that a little sooner because i thought i'd pre i thought i'd be able to get more than this so 20 seconds on one side 20 seconds on the other that's the burn complete mm -hmm. Let's warp time forward until we are over here. And then we can do our deorbit maneuver. So how, so this is counting up. When it starts counting down, that's how we know we're at the halfway point. So we're getting pretty close. I'm actually gonna go to real time and get into the retrograde position now. And there we are, back to real time. Turn off the retrograde autopilot. And now we'll work time forward. And we're getting pretty close. That number is still counting up. Morning, coolant temperature. Small panic attack. You just need to open the radiator. It'll be okay. Yeah, coolant temperature. Okay, we forgot to open the radiator when when we undocked. Silly mistake. System reset. Small oversight, but it should be okay. The coolant temperature is coming back down. Alarm bells, though, they do send just an instant sense of panic. 
guess that's their intention. Anyway, warping time four, getting to the halfway point. And as we're getting quite close, I'm going to go ahead and go into the retrograde position and just burn through a little bit of our RCS fuel just to make sure that we don't overshoot that point. So still counting up. It looks like it's slowing down. There it is. So we're halfway. Okay, so should have had orbit MFD up. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Um all right. Full power. I don't know how low, I don't know what the model is like for for IO, and I don't know how badly our orbit's going to be perturbed. Let's go down to 50 kilometers. Let's go with something like that. Turn off the retrograde autopilot. Okay, so we already set up our comm nav, correct? I think, yeah, that looks right to me. So what do we have left to do? We have to... Okay, we have to uh, go around. So it's kind of similar to a moon landing at this point. I wonder, will we be so lucky as to have the base during the day? Of course not. Didn't plan for that, didn't think about it till just now. Wait, no, that's the base right there. We're good. Spaceport's IO base. Yeah, no, we're good. We'll be we'll be landing at the base with the lights on. Awesome. I was looking at this and moving on. Um, so let's have base sync up. So, okay, so the deorbit burn improved our distance off base a little bit. So next order of business, we're going to uh, go around to this point here. Uh, I really want to watch my orbit, see what's happening. So, okay, so it's not decaying yet. And when we get around over to that point, actually our orbit's going up. Uh, okay, so we will be, let's come out of time warp, let's go into the uh, normal plus position. And we will see what we can do to improve our off base distance. And, um, I'll try to bring it down really close to zero at this point, but it probably will not hold. So last time we started 20 seconds before and we got about 30 kilometers worth. So let's go, let's do that again. Let's actually go 25 seconds though. So we're almost, let's go with that. So just using one or two clicks of main engine to bring down the off base distance and it's not having too much impact on our PEA. We're gonna have a long way to fall down to IO base. Okay, so so we started 25 seconds before the node. Let me actually put in a bit more power because that's not coming down very fast. And we should have about, you know, Distance off base is five, four, three, two, and kill. And it looks like that number is climbing. So what we may want to do is offset, but I don't know by how much. Let's go something like that. I don't really know. Go back to the normal, uh, turn off the autopilot. Let's go back to retrograde. And let's think about landing. All right, what do we want to do? We want to have our APU on for a moment, and we want to have uh, retro doors open just in case, hover doors open. Um, could put down the landing gear now, just so it's one less thing to do later. Uh, I trust that we'll remember. So let's see here. So I think the next thing to do is just to warp time forward until our comm nav comes online. All right, so that's what we'll do. So what kind of velocities are we looking at? 
So something like that. Let's look at burn time and see if that is our velocity close to it, 1768. We will need to start our braking burn about 90 kilometers before we get to the target. So keep that in mind. I don't think I need that anymore. I guess I could have had more of an offset. So warping time forward. So distance to the base. So this should be coming online in just a few more seconds. Distance to the base, 600. Actually, it'll prob probably be past 500 because we're up at, you know, 60 kilometers in altitude. So it might not come online until we're closer to 400. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's go... Um, Rotation. So let's go wings level, and we need to start acting pretty quick here. And we want to be full retrograde. Okay, and... Translation. Rotation. So we're 420 kilometers out. Let me, so I have this, that's useless at the moment. Um, I need this, this is what I want. Okay, so let me bring up burn time on this side because I don't need base sync anymore. And we're gonna go with that number. It's a bit higher, so 1771. So yeah, about 90 kilometers out is when we, we need to begin our braking burn. That's not what I meant to hit. Um, I want this one at the moment, just to make sure that we're staying. And we'll go, we'll go uh, horizontal level, but not quite yet. So we're actually climbing a little bit. So 90 kilometers, using full power of the main engines, and that should get us stopped when we are more or less over top of the base so we have a little bit of time here let's actually see if we can see our base should be actually how far off base are we i don't even know oh we're pretty well lined up so somewhere out that way i don't see it yet and oh i think I think I saw a blip right there, but I don't want to overshoot. So back inside, we'll go ahead and turn on the horizontal level for now. And we are 230 kilometers out. So I think we can afford just a tiny bit of time warp. And we're gonna begin the burn at a distance. I actually, how reliable is that because That might be our uh, hypotenuse distance, not necessarily. Okay, no time to think about it. So 90 kilometers out. Mm. I guess if it was, it would just mean we were we would be breaking too soon, not too late. And here comes the burn. No. All right. So let me have rotation on. And I can never remember if I want to rotate that way or that way to get the line up. Let me experiment, because we are a bit off. So if I rotate a bit this way, is it bringing the base position closer or taking it farther out? It's taking it farther out, so I always get it wrong. So that should line us up, correct? Yes, you can see that yellow line getting a bit closer. We're not starting to fall yet. And. Okay, we're lined up. Now we're starting to fall. And switching nav.
landing pad come online eventually. I don't know if maybe I just didn't set it up right. So. bit of offset there and now back to middle so we are 70 kilometers up plenty of time to fall four kilometers from the base okay so I think we timed that okay-ish why am I not getting my landing pad oh it's because I'm way way up that's why so the base should be mostly below us. There it is. can barely see it. might not show up on the playback. We still have four kilometers to fall. Translation. Rotation. Let's uh, not to fall but to go. So let's rotate around so that we're facing the base. 66 kilometers to fall. I really want to watch that speed. But we really have a long way to go down but I don't want to ignore that completely. We're probably going to go over 20 minutes on this part. Eh, actually, no, I, I have an idea. Because there is a bit left to do on the landing, so let me just line this up. Translation. Rotation. Okay, and we have a few kilometers to go forward, just a couple. Let me see if I can get the landing pad yet, not yet, and it's just because I'm so high. All right, so let me um, pause, switch camera views here, <clears throat> and so that I don't have an extra long video, we'll just go ahead and wrap up this part now, and when we come back, we will finish the descent down onto landing pad number one, and uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. We'll see. We'll see what uh, what we want to talk about when the mission is complete. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. See you in the next part.